Whoa, okay, so we didn't quite expect that. For those of you who haven't seen, we two years ago, we uploaded two videos. One of the videos was uh, Jenny interviewing me on my experiences as a black man in Bulgaria. And the other one was Philip inter interviewing me um, as a Bulgarian in the UK. And um, we had a mixed bag of responses. But unfortunately, most of the bad or toxic responses were coming from people who were Bulgarian. So how did that make you feel? How did it make me feel? If I was someone who didn't value certain parts of his private life as, as much as I do, I would invite each and every one of you out there writing your nonsense, your toxic rubbish, right here, right now, to my home. So that I can share this packet of sweets with you, we can sit down and talk, and you can understand that your warped version of black people is completely wrong. Now first of all, I want to say that we're not going to be in the habit of reading through people's hate speech. Really, it's, it's not that important or interesting to anybody. But I think some of the ones on this one deserve a little bit of laughter. Fat Speckly on 9 and Anon Anonymous want to know when we're going to be breaking up. Are we breaking up? Mm, no. We're not breaking up, I'm sorry to tell you that. In fact, what's happened? We got married! We got married just over a year ago and um, Bulgaria gave us a beautiful wedding in the centre of Sofia. Which was, yeah, it was very nice. We had sun, we had laughter, all the friends and family there. It was amazing. Yeah. Now we're going a bit further on down the line, we had some uh, pretty uh, drastic and um, graphic, actually, comments. One was from David Wolfman. Apparently, Jenny should be beaten and put to death by stones in the centre of the city as an example to other people. So that it's they like, they really? It's like... <laughs> it's, it's a very drastic thing it's to be done. It's extreme. Very extreme. And um, apparently, uh, according to Synagogue of Satan 1, uh, black people are violent and nine out of t n there's a 9 out of 10 chance that you'll end up murdered and stuffed in a dumpster, so you should be very careful. Have you been murdered? Uh, no, I'm alive. I'm alive! 9 out of 10 people is a very specific figure, so I just want to know where you're getting your number from. Austin Ross and Edgy Faggot both have uh, very colourful views about what our children are going to look like. Uh, apparently they're going to be goblins. Goblins? It's like quite goblins. There's so many mystical creatures. That one really made me laugh, yeah. But on a positive note, I do want to reach out to the people who have been uh, very positive with their comments and encouraging. Um, it is good to know that there are people out there who don't have such narrow-minded thoughts and Perceptions. Perceptions of the world around them. But it has to be said that these comments don't mean anything to us. They have absolutely no effect on us whatsoever. The part that I want to drive home is that this sort of rhetoric only serves to perpetuate an irrational hate, not only in our society, but the saddest part of it is that it will be pressed onto the innocence of the generation after us. And they don't deserve that. Yeah, and leading on to the uh, back of that, I just want to say that my heart goes out to the people who are maybe emotionally insecure or who may suffer from depression or who may not be as confident in the real world. These are the sort of people who will be more susceptible to the words that are coming from other people. Mm -hmm. And if, as a society, we continue to spew such hatred and irrational, toxic language it can only serve to to devalue and and degrade our humanity yeah i think it's pointless and unless you've got a a, a specific and strong argument for saying something and even then when you say it, you can bring it across in an educational way exactly exactly you know it's pointless but um i guess these people will always be around and maybe I'll leave you with this as a thought. Um, you were born
in like a blank piece of paper. You see your mom, you see your dad, you see the people around you, but when you are a baby and as you grow up, you actually have no perception of color. You only know that you might be different when you see somebody who is different than you and somebody points it out. So before somebody gives you a decision to be racist, think if you actually have been born racist because I don't believe that any of you have been born racist. And I am a Bulgarian and I think you're wrong and you're not representing Bulgarian people in the right way. That's actually true. I mean, going to Bulgaria, it's, it was an amazing experience. I've been there eight, eight or nine times now, or something yeah, like stopped that. Stop counting. Stop <laughs> counting. Um, the people there are amazing, and I, I think, um, in fact, I'm hoping that the opinions shown on these videos are from the minority. When I grew up, um, I never saw colour, and the people that are around me, they didn't show that they saw colour either, you know, we were just completely neutral and we treated each other as such. Are we how we are because of the environment that we were brought up in or are, how we are, are we how we are because of something that's inherent inside of us? Yeah, we just wanted to make this video to say that we're still here and we hopefully will be making more videos in the future, time permitting. Somebody who valued certain parts of my privacy as much as I did I would say to all of you people out there, all of you people who are commenting that. If I was someone who didn't value certain parts of my private life. There's no point. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try I'll try to read and do something else, but it's not working. Well because it sounds like my private parts. Yes. I invite every single one of those people who commented like that. For goodness sake. I can't. It's, it's, it, when you say that, it's, it's very funny. If I was someone who didn't value certain parts of my privacy as much as I did. You know what? Do you have to say certain parts of my privacy because it's not like you're cooking? You know certain parts of my privacy? <laughs> <laughs> Can you not do this without me? This first part without me. Okay, I don't know what to do. I'm not doing it on purpose. Okay, okay.